National Research Council of Canada was created 100 years ago in 1916 and its base was to help the government address research needs and also to help the industry advance. In the last five years, NRC has shifted to becoming a research and technology organization which is trying to really help industry solve the immediate problems today and as well as trying to foresee what's going to happen over the next few years so it's better prepared to address those concerns. There's a problem that comes in, the industry may not or the stakeholder may not know exactly what they're looking for as a solution, but we're able to assemble the team of experts throughout NRC, bring them together to help address the immediate need of that problem. NRC is able to de-risk the innovation uh, and the technology by showing how it works, demonstrating it in the field, demonstrating it in the laboratory, and being able to provide an overall comprehensive solution. So one application that we're looking at is from a Raman spectrometry perspective. A uh, Raman spectrometer is something which would sit normally on a table which is about six feet long. And so obviously it's not something that's just transportable. We're looking at being able to see how the Raman can go from being in the lab to in the field. So there's a device, for example, like this. This is actually a Raman spectrometer, a handheld device, which has everything required plus a database built in which allows you to then go ahead and do some analysis. But to do some analysis, you need to make sure that what you've got is actually calibrated and accurate, so you'll get good results down the line. So one way to do this is using, like for example, this ASTM standard, Raman Shift standards for spectrometer calibrations. For first responders, uh, they wear, they'll wear a badge, like this one here, and on the badge itself, uh, there's an indicator on there. We can now take this and put it directly onto the badge itself, and hit the scan, and we can find out what is it that the first responder is walking into. Another application is from a customs perspective. Someone is carrying with them pills perhaps or they're bringing in something through customs and they don't want to have to pay taxes on it or duty uh, so they can find out whether or not it's okay. In this case there's a little pill, put it directly on the pill, they can find out what that pill really is and it comes back and it tells you it's a painkiller. Those two are examples of how the National Research Council of Canada uh, as a research and technology organization can help devices that have been developed by the industry and finding applications for them in the field uh, and using standards together, being able to make sure that things are calibrated, well used and applicable to everyday solutions. So from the lab to the field uh, through the help of the National Research Council of Canada and ASTM International.